What's up everybody, this is Joshua Casper and welcome to a gravity tutorial. Today I'm going to share with you some tips and tricks inside of the designer module for the hits section of the gravity instrument. So if, if you haven't heard of gravity, I suggest you go check out the demo videos because gravity is an incredible instrument for contact and it's just, it's blowing my mind, especially how much control I have over things as opposed to the usual contact instruments that don't really allow you to get in to customize things too much. I don't have that sort of limitation I find with gravity. Without getting too much into praising the, the instrument, let's just go ahead and jump into the hit section here. Gravity has four main sections, the hits, pads, risers, strings. I'm gonna go through them all, but today we're gonna to concentrate on the hits and we're gonna concentrate on the breakout. The breakout section, what this is, is each one of the full hits designed by Heaviosity for gravity has four elements. Those four elements are impacts, subs, tails, whooshes. So the impacts will be the mid to high level, like, crunchiness of something getting impacted. The subs will be the bassy, rumbly, low end. The tails will be any sort of, you know, particles or pads or strings that kind of trail off after the impact happens. And the whooshes are the kind of riser buildup leading into the rest of the impact, which all happens at the same time. So the impact sub and tail happens at the same time. The tail obviously lasts a little bit longer. The whoosh leads into those three when it happens. Now we have a full menu, which is everything together. And then we have the sub menus, which are each of the elements by themselves. And then we have these things called breakouts, which gives us a section of each of the four elements that we can then pick and choose and make our own combinations of those elements. So I'm just gonna go ahead and load one of these. Here we go. And right now, if you look down on the keyboard here on the contacts instrument, you can see that there's some color coding going on. What these colors are is down here are gonna be our designer hits. So if I go to the designer tab, I, you can see that I have the four elements here and I can actually pick and choose different ones uh, for each. And then I have my main keyboard section. So I can actually design up to 12 variations inside of the designer module right inside of just one instance of gravity. So let's just check out this one right here. It's gonna to default to C negative two. And that's the default, and it's delicious, like it's so good as is. But let's say I wanna make my own thing. What I can do is each one of these colored sections is each one of these element sections up here at the top. So let's say I don't really like that whoosh. I can then try out any of the 12 whooshes that are in this particular breakout instrument. Okay, so that one's a lot better. Uh, there's also this random button that will randomize everything for you. And that's a lot of fun. But one thing that I found was the whoosh was getting in the way of my workflow. Uh, I'd have to wait for that whoosh. The three things are happening midway through or you know after that whoosh, and that's where it seems like a lot of my time was gonna be spent. I'd have to wait for that whoosh to audition the, the rest of the hit. In an incredible move, they have the whoosh deactivation button right next to the whoosh uh, section right here. If I turn that off, you can see that the sample has slid over and now all I'm gonna do, is, it, all I'm gonna hear are the sub impact and tail. Okay, so let's say I really like that combination. Now I can turn the whoosh back on and focus on it to make sure that everything together sounds good.
and it does. It sounds super great. However, I think the whoosh is a little too beefy. I want to be able to thin it out a little bit and roll off that bottom end. I don't really want there to be any low end coming in on that whoosh. And what's really cool is that we can do that. If you come over to the EQ filter section, each one of these keys has its own EQ for it. So it's got its own dedicated EQ. If I come over here, I'm using the C4 for my whoosh on my impact here. So that's my whole whole hit together, but this C4 is my whoosh by itself. And if you see up here on the top, if I click any one of these keys, this will change to match it. So that's the F2, A3, and so on. So I want to work on the C4, which is my whoosh. Now I can also click in here and drag up and down, but I find it's a little bit quicker just to go ahead and click down there. So what I can do is activate the EQ and then make some changes. Now I've really rolled off that bottom end, so let's go ahead and audition that. And that's, let's just say that's what I want. And now if I audition my hit from the designer, all four of them together. Pretty sweet, right? And then there's obviously the master EQ, which I can change some settings if I wanted to. Let's just pretend. This EQ over here is dedicated to the C4. So if I move to a different key, you can see that this EQ is not activated for the F3. However, the master EQ is for everything together. And the filter works the same way. The filter is going to be for everything as opposed to this equalizer that's going to be dedicated to each one of the keys on the keyboard. If I go back to that C4, my EQ has been preserved. Now this is just getting started with the uh, available options inside of Gravity, but I don't want to bog you down. You can look forward to sequencing some of these effects. You can look forward to the motion uh, module in here. Everything is just super great. Everything is super customizable and I'm just blown away by this plugin. It's going to take a little bit of time for me to fully understand it and to be able to show you guys in a coherent manner how to use these things and what these things are all about. But anyway, I just wanted to share the, the, the couple of tips and tricks with you for the impact section and uh, we'll see you next time.